morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I apologize if I stutter a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous, but <laughs> we'll get through it. <laughs> so yeah, like Miss uh, Celine mentioned, I am now working here. Um, I'm very excited. And I just want to say thank you to the Youth Build Charter School uh, for allowing me to share my story with you guys today. So when I first got here to Ruth Youth Build, you know, I was very nervous, very all over the place. I didn't care about anything at all. I was giving a lot of importance to many different things. And at that time in my life, I had just turned 16. I was just being a crazy rebel child, you know, going through those hormones and everything. It was a, it was a huge change for me because when I first got here, I remember, um, I don't know if you guys know her, but Miss Iris Silva, I actually had a very uh, different encounter with her. I, I came in with my mom and I actually, I was rude. I was I was just like, I don't really care about this school. I don't care about what you have to say. I don't care about the uniforms. I don't care about anything. I'm just, I'm wasting my time here. And I remember specifically her telling me, you're not going to get nowhere like that with that attitude. You need to change. If you're not ready for that, then this is not for you. And I just walked out. I left. And, you know, I went, I went off throughout the days and throughout that week, I was just thinking, right? And I remember coming back and I was like, I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trying to be rude. I just, I have a lot on my plate and it's not your fault. I just, I don't know if I'm ready to even want to be here. I, I don't. And the fact that she didn't turn away from me, the fact that she didn't give me her back and she showed me, it's like, it's fine. We'll work through it is was just kind of like weird for me but it, it helped and it was just like okay you know what I'll I'll give it a shot you know I came here it was very different the mental toughness um you know being so out of your comfort zone doing things that you wouldn't do at a normal like traditional school was just like what the like you know like it was just crazy it was weird you know being here at youth build I I was able to you know adjust and eventually like I, I learned a few things about myself. I, I, I did. And it was because of those people, the staff, the, the friends that I had, the, the bonds that I created here are just amazing. And I, and I couldn't be more grateful. And, you know, as you can see here, these are many moments that I've had. And I was able to grow throughout Ruth Youth Build Program. Yeah, I was in and out. I was always, no, I'm not ready. No, I'm not. Or yes, I'm full of energy. I'm ready to go, but I'd burn out. And I, I would, you know, I would hear a lot. I'm a little roller coaster, but I didn't want to give up. I did not want to leave. I remember getting up every morning at five in the morning to catch all those buses, the red line, the blue line, the orange line to come right back to Ruth Youth Build here in Canoga Park. And no matter how hard I tried to just do my own thing, I couldn't. I would always come back. I was able to do like spirit week. I was able to hold like, um, you know, like group therapy sessions after school. And that little burst right there, that was my first day being here at Ruth Youth Build. And, you know, I've, I've done like pre appreciation posts to my to my teachers and staff as well. Oh, man, I, I, I can't emphasize the fact that I, I love this school so much. <laughs> I found my calling. I realized that being at this school means so much to me that I, I, I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want to let myself down. And I feel like the reason why I've been in and out so much was because throughout my my crazy times, I, I've learned to realize that I didn't want to let go because this was the only positive and the only good thing in my life that I knew that it was safe. It was solid. And I wasn't ready to let it go. So I was so scared of graduating, so scared of being done, even though I could have been done all those years ago. Like I just, I didn't want to let go because I was scared that you guys were going to let go of me too. And finally, last year, seven months pregnant, graduated in a, in a world pandemic. I, I pushed through, I made it. And I'm just so happy because besides the fact that I had my baby to look after, I had my baby to look forward to. I made it known. I am going to come work here. I'm going to be here. I want to help. I want to be there, not only as a friend, but as someone, you know, who could be a mentor, who could be there for you on a personal level, um, helping you with through education, you know, learning about those next steps after graduating. I just I want to be all in. I want to help. 
and I've I've always told the staff here, I've always told Miss Miranda, I've always told everyone, like, I'm going to get a job here. You guys are not getting rid of me. I'm going to come back. Like, this is it. You know, you guys are stuck with me for life. I don't care. <laughs> so thankfully, I was fortunate enough to get a job here. Uh, my position here is called the engagement coordinator. I do the enrollments, the paperwork, the intakes. Not just that, but if anyone has any questions or anyone wants to get a little insight of like what Ruth Youth Build is about, and not just Ruth Youth Build, but any youth build, I'll, I'll be talking to them because I, I could tell them, you know, a little bit about what I've been through and what I've been able to accomplish here. Just letting them know too, like, hey, like if you're in it, if you want to meet me halfway, I'm right there by you 110% and everyone here too. You know, and, and I'm just, I'm really happy because this is exciting. I come here every day and you know how you have that job. I mean, I feel like we've all had that one job where it's just like, man, I have to get up. I have to go to work. No, this isn't it for me. I, I'm up. I'm here. And it doesn't even feel like I'm working because just helping and just being here for everyone is, is coming from a genuine place. I, I enjoy what I do. And it's it's not every day that someone's going to get lucky enough to get a job like that. And I'm, I'm thankful for having my dream job. Like I'm here with you guys, you know, so it just it feels good. And I, I'm really happy to be here. So I've, I've explained a little bit about my why I came back. But now I, I want to ask you, what, what's your why? How does working at Youth Build support your why? Because of people like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to concur what Chef said, uh, Ms. Lopez. That was a great presentation. No, thank you. Thank you so much for just listening to me. And, you know, I appreciate having this time and space to be able to talk to you guys. I know that it is, you know, sometimes a little heavy on our shoulders to be able to reach out and to want to be helped. I know sometimes we're not ready for it, but don't give up on us because I know there's a lot of people who just need that little extra push and a little reminder that you as staff, as friends, as mentors are here for us. And, you know, when when we're ready, we'll give you guys our all. I mean, even if we have sometimes our downs, like we'll be good. And I just I hope that you guys don't give up on us because I, I know I want to be just like you guys being here for everyone. And even if I can just make a difference in one person's life, that means a lot because I know that that's what the staff here did for me, too. So thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Helen. Let's get a virtual round of applause. <laughs>